Well, honestly, I didn't want to do this, but this is a pre this is a re-recorded because of circumstances that I probably should have checked way ahead of time, and also an unfortunate soft lock. More information, probably soon. So I'll <laughs> say this, hello guys, what is up? I am Lee Abadup121, and if you thought my Metro Fusion Let's Play is done, uh, not quite. Last time, a few weeks ago, I finished up the main game 100%. Today, it's not Metro Fusion, it's a Metro Fusion Rando. Yes, this, hey. is, this is a seed created by the guy who is right next to me. Hello. Randova is how we create the seed. Uh, for those wondering, this is probably one of the last seeds you will see that is made before the update that was made a few months ago. Oops. Actually, a few weeks ago, I should say. There was an update to the randomizer, actually. If I'm not mistaken. With that said, though, yeah, with that said, though, um, regular randomizer, some of the things you'll see will not really shuffle, but at least I can say the items are randomized. So, if you're hyped for that, make sure to hit the like button for my sanity. Subscribe to content if you're new, and ring that bell to find any table on the channel. If you missed the Let's Play, it's on the playlist on the card up here. With that said, three, two, one. And we're off. So most of this this first episode will be mostly unblind because as I said before, yep. I played I think about four no, two hours of this uh, thing. Actually no, four or five minutes of this thing and then I soft lock myself. But at the very least I can say I'm uh not rusty. Yep. That's the plus side. Also, it's the first time I'm hearing about that Rando apparently getting an update a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, they said they updated it apparently. It's kind of nice. Hmm. I have to look into it later. Hmm. So, straight up the gate, I kind of know my routing uh, to start out because I know some of the, some of the items are. Also, apologies if anybody keeps hearing noise of my end. I'm currently eating breakfast right now. <laughs> uh, I mean, I can't really hear it. And if I can't hear it, the audience can't hear it. I try to get a little farther enough away from the mic, so. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, this was probably supposed to happen hours ago, but uh, yeah, unfortunately, I've been into wrestling for back into wrestling for the last over a year now, and a PLE happened at a very off time on Saturday because that PLE was in Perth, Australia. Which means it was happening at 4 a.m. my time. Well, 3 a.m. for the kickoff show. So I had to get to bed early to actually want to watch it live, which I still wanted to do, even though I think just about every one of the matches here was all the predictable outcome, in fact, happened the way I thought they would. With the winner and all that stuff, jazz, but... Still, not often do you get to have a PLE like at four in the morning. So, <laughs> oh, no wonder you had to go to uh, sleep early. Yeah, yeah, right after SmackDown last night. Horse ball. So that's it. For most of this was like, oh, I already know about this because I yeah it's stuff you already pretty basically already picked up. It's just avoiding the soft lock. <laughs> yeah, you'll see later where in the world I get soft locked as I deal with the eyes of truth. Come on. Nice. So I actually didn't know about that morph ball spot, and uh, that's actually how it's gonna help. Also, this was a thing. Yeah. Missile data. Definitely a big help, as you'll see here. Now some of these things are like absolutely destroyed by super missiles. I mean, also you actually missed a spot too. I'll have to go back for just before you drop down. There's a part of the ceiling you shoot out. Oh, there's one more item there. Jeez. Yep. I'm gonna think about the place he could have gotten soft locked in sector three with the save. 
somehow getting past the routing that leads to, uh, well, box one without a way out. Hmm. Guess we'll see here, yeah. But yeah, as you can see, in terms of movement, uh, I, I got it. <laughs> I don't know if this was anything here, I don't think so. No. Yeah, this game, if there's like a wall that you can bomb or something, they would have a spot that's pretty obvious that you can bomb it. Hmm. Everybody's taking their own rooms like that. Well, specifically that type of room where it's like a data room of sort like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's a thing. Let's say there's actually something in that spot uh, that's... Uh... Yeah. Okay, that is one of the eyes oh. I did not grab. Yeah, right before you would have dropped down to fight Arachnus X there, before doing so, you basically want to shoot up the ceiling with missiles. Ah, uh, okay, okay. And I mean literally before you drop down. In other words, you're at the last step before you would jump off. <laughs> right. Oh. Yep. No, oh, you back to the right. Not there, it's on the other side. Oh. Yep, gotta shoot again. There you go. <laughs> oh, not an E-Tank. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. And that's actually interesting even randomized. Heh. <laughs> of course it would. They're like 20 But I had to point that out game. because at times... Important items can actually be shuffled there, depending on how you set the thing. Yeah. Because given the fact that you mentioned about getting soft lock, I was like, mm, and then you missed that the first time. I was like, ah, I wonder if that was a thing that could have been helped them. I mean, you'll see later where I end up getting soft lock. It's, uh. It's rough. Alright, let's go. Yep. So you'll see here. Don't say um, this much. They had a missile start at least, and not the hardest start, which would have been if you had would have gotten speed booster. Oh yeah, no. Because speed booster is definitely the hardest start. You would have had to shy spark chain through that very room you were just in, and then unleash it going into this room at the proper spot just to get through there because of that. Yeah. More fall opening. Indeed, indeed. All right. Let's go sector one and uh, actually do this properly, hopefully. Jeez. Now the recording should be fine though. Um, if you're wondering about the... I, I told him it was a botched media source. Well, let's just say the... Uh, you guys can see that I brought back the cute uh, TV for the animals. Um, let's just say... I forgot to mute it. Oops. <laughs> and that's why I said two hours was lost because of that. Oh. Rip. <laughs> yeah, that you can tell I was not happy. Okay, now, and stabilizer I, fixed. Gotta remember to go down to one hit now. Oh yeah, because super missiles. Next item, oh, E-Tank. Oh yeah, nah, you'll see this, uh, see it's actually quite E-Tank heavy. Another one. Yep. Yeah, the, uh, stabilizer then in the random seat is the optional one. <laughs> if it was a vanilla game, it would be optional, it would be required, but... Hmm. I 
will say this having those eat tanks helps with the lava room in case you have to take a chance of doing a lava bath. <laughs> Mm, I mean, you'll see later if um, someone is alright to do it. No, oh, that's an item. I beat! Hey. Yeah, pretty nice. Yeah, that is a nice get right there. And if you're wondering about this item... Well, that's convenient, given that you just took a lot of back to get it. Yeah... Pretty happy about probably that. Probably good honestly. thing, because otherwise, you probably could have gotten out without it. But yeah, it definitely would have taken a hit to your health because of that going in and out part. Yep. Especially without a various suit, which wouldn't have stopped the damage, but would have at least slowed it down. Indeed, indeed. All right. Uh, this part is stabilizer. Alright. Two left. Yeah, having all you think is quite nice. Yeah, even though you have to destroy a stabilizer once you enter the room, that one is still optional because as long as you don't enter the room in a rando seat, you don't have to deal with it at all. Mm. If that one's that that one you got earlier was basically a dead end room. <laughs> Yeah, also surprise, surprise, not a E tank. Yeah, <laughs> wow, yeah. Six C tanks. Certainly not hurting for health in the C. <laughs> nope. Let's see what these geniuses around here. <laughs> I mean, swim missiles always help, so honestly, I'm quite grateful. Yeah, that too. Yeah, the swim missile pickup was honestly a big boon. Yeah, super missiles early is very nice. Of course, getting wide beam early is also nice. Because mm. it's sneaky useful for more than one reason, just because of the wider range when you shoot it out, but also the fact that wave beams work so weird without it is another reason. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, this is a safe point. Oh, I should be fine with this yeah. boss. Yeah, you're more than fine. Yeah, now if you had a speed boost earlier, you could try and go for one of the items here, but unfortunately you do, do not, so... Yeah. There is an item in this room that requires you to get a side spark from a separate room to get in and carry it in here. And yeah, yeah charge for it is dead just like that. Uh, yeah, honestly, it surprised me And all for a missile. It surprised me how fast I killed it. Yeah. Early bosses are a joke with early supers. <laughs> Hardcore literally dead like what one or two gets. <laughs> Wait. Charge core, please. I need... yeah. There we go. Yeah, right at yeah, just off of the timing, but that works. Oh. Ice beam. Yep. And, uh, that's well, a good bad situation. Good, you got a beam. Bad, you get to hear that annoying ass sound that it makes. You know, I was about to mention it, and I understand why you say it's annoying. <laughs> but it's useful. Definitely useful. Yep. Yeah. All save us online. Alright, yeah. let's get out of here. Safe point, I can just get out of here normally. Actually, uh, turn back around. Did I miss something? Yeah, that safe room is one of those that has a, a separate room attached to it. 
You'll see oh what wait, I, I for, actually I forgot about that. Sorry, I did this. Do this. I did do this before. I just forgot it. Yep. And good thing too because. Oh my. Yeah. Yeah, good thing I reminded you of that. This actually becomes very central later, as you'll see. Alright, now I think I'm done with all of everything here, so I can just get back. Yeah, pretty sure. I don't have the, any of the doors unlocked either. Yeah, anything else you can get as part of Sector 1 can't be obtained yet, so yeah, you're pretty much done here for now. Yep. Uh, let's go back to second two. Um, you'll see later that there's some like junctions I managed to find. Uh, there are some pow powers I managed to pick up as well later on. Uh, if anything though, this seed is like, it's weird. Let's just say. I honestly don't know how to feel about the items I got when I got them. Uh. Alright, second two. We're in 16 minutes, alright. Now, fun fact, usually when I do a random scene, I tend to do, as long as I'm not doing sector shuffle, I tend to hit sector two first. Well, mainly because it's a random seed one and two. Just give you a little bit of path to different around you. You never know, I might have to hit sector two first. Oh, hello, Bob Data. Yeah, that's nice. Well, another good reason to get that ice beam. You freeze these people in this room. Unfortunately, I don't have screw attacks that can't go left in there. No, not yet. I don't have it yet. Yeah. Alright. Uh... Yeah, I can't do anything that that yet. Yeah, gotta get the sector one security first. Nice. Hey, you weren't kidding. But what? The noise. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Cause I mean, ice beams supposed to be earned at the very end, so it's like you don't usually hear that often. All of a sudden, it's like, oh. Right. Yeah. You. Yeah. For those of you at home who haven't played Fusion before, you normally in vanilla game do not get the ice beam until you're literally fighting Omega Metroid at the end of the game. So you only have to hear it for that fight. <laughs> yep. So when you play a rando, you get it a lot earlier. Oh boy. Hashtag ice beam ear rape. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the worst sounding ice beam probably in the entire series to be honest with you. <laughs> yep, you got the right idea this one just uh oh after I think you do have to bomb it, yeah. I forgot some instances where you do have to bomb the part out and the other one that you don't have to bomb it, it's just invisible to the eye. You just have to find the right spot. But yeah, I was thinking of actually this I'll, is the I'll, also also he thinking of the wrong one. I was like, whoops. Yeah, this is the former out of the ladder. Yeah, actually, you can sneak ahead for that item too, back to the right. But first, this is actually kind of the route I took, if you're wondering. Oh, yeah, don't forget the data room up there. Yeah, now I actually can do it because I got that first. Not only that, the room to the right of that as well. Yeah, the right as well. I can pick that up. Yep. Ooh, that's right across from the data room. Hello, diffusion missiles. Oh, my. Yep. That's the really I'd get. Yeah, good thing you got supers before you got diffusion. In particular, you got regular missiles before diffusion. Because, yeah, having the diffusion missile start is ick. <laughs> Much to Riddles' uh, uh, relief. Charles yeah. is not with Ridley. 
Yeah, because if you have where you can get any missile as a start instead of the missile data, and you get diffusion missiles, your missiles are actually get weaker. Wow, really? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, it takes even more hits to get through the freaking eye door to get through Arachnus, and yeah, it's not fun. <laughs> So yeah, if you ever turn on the case of having missiles without having to get the data first, better hope it's not the fusion missile start. Oh, yeah. You get a missile, you got another missile tank right there. Hmm. And if I jump, I can do this. Yep. Yeah, you can do it the easy way. You don't even have to do a single bomb jump to get through all that. And I say single bomb jump, even though in IBJ it's impossible in this game because, well, the bomb exploding thing is way too slow to get a chain together. I see. Yeah, the problem is the bombs don't explode fast enough, and because of that, you can't really get a chain together because ah. no matter what, it would explode early enough. Huh? Oh, there is an item in that room. Huh, honestly, when I first entered it, I thought it was, like, just a trap. Yeah, um, right down where you drop down there, once that blue guy moves out of the way, bomb that. To the right. If you do want to kill him first, that's fine. Over to the right. Oh. Oh, yeah, I can see it. Oh, wow. Oh, oh of course, it's another e thing. <laughs> Man, they are not skipping on that. Oh, this guy's playing for the first time? Oh, make sure he gets enough health. Hashtag Lee's e tank seed his. Exactly, at this point. Quite a surprise. And it gets even worse, actually. Um, by the way, oh, boy. you will see. Oh, wait. Right. Again, that's in the way. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I want to do this one by one. Yeah, nothing over here you can get from this path. Yeah, it's just a save point, right? Um, Actually, not even that. I think it's just a dead end. Yeah. The other part of that room, you got to go open around for that. This is where you're going backwards because that's was where we first met SAX. Yep. Yeah, so when you go up, get that door to the left first because there's one item you can still get in here now. This one? Yep. Hello, screw attack. Oh, yeah. Boy. Honestly, it was like, what? Because I knew the for a fact that that means now, uh, hello, a lot of things I can grab now. Yeah. And you have just enough items to be able to grab this even without gravity suit, too. Yeah. High jump boost really helps. You want at least some sort of bomb, and you want that high jump jump ball item. Is it that without Perfect. gravity suit, high, the jump ball thing is required to blast that open, huh? Yep. You know, it's just a missile tank, huh? I mean, at this point, I only have 35 missiles, and somehow, yeah. one-fifth of that wouldn't fit as many E-Tanks. Usually, it should be, I don't know, one out of 20? Now I have one out of five. That should not be happening. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Jokes, map jokes aside, let's go. Oh, yeah. I have the bad habit of actually pressing the up button, honestly, when I move around, which is yeah. not really a good bet. Oh, habit. yeah! Or you go that way because you have the screw attack. Go back out that door. Oh wait, what? That wow. door that you were just at, just above you. Because you have screw attack before space jump, you can actually wall jump now. Oh, I know. I can access this up here, and I also. No, I'm not talking about there. I'm talking about that. Door I know. Right I there. I know exactly what you're talking about. This here. Yeah. Yep. 
get that immediately. Hey, more missiles. <laughs> Don't worry, I did notice it. Oh, that's satisfying. Right there. Yeah. I want to need charge beam also means I can actually take care of not one, but both of the bosses here. Well, that charge beam would have helped for the one, one of the bosses, but you know what I mean. Yeah. That needs power bombs. It's about when you when you actually get it. <laughs> Told you. I mean, I already knew given how many you had before. Just confirming it right now. <laughs> yeah. All right. Time for this boss ends to be. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing it wrongly, but <laughs> that's how I remembered it. Yeah. This boss whose actual name is Zazani. Oh, it actually is correct. I thought it was Zen You know what? For some reason in my head, I thought it was Zanzibar. Now it's gotten by other names out there, one of which is the... I refer to as the Intergalactic Plastic Bag. <laughs> Almost there. Got it. Got it. Oof. Very smooth. I also found out those uh, because I can walk up here. I can barely if I can grab it. Yeah, barely you can get it there. Yep. Unfortunately, you can't get any of the items in there, but. Yeah. There we go. Well, at least you can showcase that. That's just a missile tank. The other one I can't yep. see at the moment because I don't have the, uh, anything to allow, allow me to see it. Yeah, no power bombs to reveal what it is. Not at the moment, at least. Hopefully I'll get it soon. More importantly, no speed booster to get either one of them. Oh, yeah. That's also the more important thing. All right. Because even if you couldn't see that one item, if you still had speed boost, you could still get them both anyway. But... Nope. Can't do anything else here. Let's just go backwards. Yep. Yeah, there's actually two items you can get on the way out. Actually, you can try to go for the ones in this room as well. Which oh, that counting, man. Yeah, crumble block. Welcome to crumble block shenanigans. Yeah, don't forget. You got the regular ice cream. You can just use that. Uh, oh, no, that was way too fast. That was way too fast. Yeah. That thing was that when I went here, I actually managed to do this perfectly not once, but twice. Oh, that's, that's not the play. Uh, of course. Yeah. Yeah, a little too far apart there, so you can't use them with a full platform, huh? Yeah, because this room has that item, which is there, and then underneath that leads to another item, which is missile. Well, there you go, more missiles. <laughs> yeah, not bad. So yeah, uh, 90 tanks. Totally not normal. Um... Well, one of the items you get is if you go back to the other room that I mentioned earlier and just continue up. Hang on. Past that. Uh, I need to check this honestly because um, I was, the the green area of sector two is just so massive to the point where honestly I just keep forgetting whether I yeah. get um is connected or not. Uh, yeah, what that I leads me out, here. right? Okay, no, I don't want to go out there because what I ended up doing yeah. did was actually take care of that boss down there. Yeah, I mean, you'll want to come back that way anyways to, to get the item that was in that room as you leave, but... Oh, no, you'll see here, actually. I ended up doing this boss already. I'm going to... Uh... Oh, you went fought the... Yep. I had charge beams, after all. Yeah, I mean, you did. Boy, that would have taken a while. 
Granted, you have supers here with sub missiles for them to help on that, but. Oof. Oh no, I mean, it wasn't as bad as I expected. As soon as I managed to get it what I wanted, it was like, okay, <laughs> simple boss. Uh, wait, wrong way. That one gets me fishy out of here. This yep. is where I want. Yeah, you... Yeah, you wouldn't even be able to go off that way anyway because no power mobs. <laughs> but yeah, you got the item in this room, which is... Yeah. <laughs> now you see what I mean? That was the last e tank I grabbed, if you're wondering. So that's why when you show me the two, I was like, oh dear. How do I have 10 e tanks on episode 1 of this rando? <laughs> Can someone explain this tomfoolery towards me, please? Oh, speaking of tomfoolery... Yeah. Careful... Yeah. Actually, what am I doing? I probably should do this first. Yeah, I do this first on this guy, then I will attack with the um, missiles if you are faster. Yep. Got it. Alright. Oh yeah, but this is a spirit too. He saw how he might be. It's kind of a mystery touch of that. Oh wait, I I forgot I need to save some missiles as well for the last form. Almost yeah. forgot about that. Granted, even if you get that form without missiles, you can still get a back during it, so... Yeah. Basically, just hit the boss with your either your screw attack or normal beams that make it spawn out. X during Oh. Talk on it. But yeah, now you got Plasma Core, which is normally with drop plasma in the middle of it. Since this is a random seed, it'll be randomized when it drops. So. Yeah. Yep, there's uh... Got it. Yeah. Oh, looks like more missiles. Yeah, hold that for a missile tank. Yeah, that's obvious. When you hit go from like 10 missiles to 55 immediately after picking up, I was like, yeah, it's a missile tank. So yeah, um, admittedly a lot of stuff already picked up. Um, and the, honestly, the bosses in themselves, um, I'm surprised I managed to do all that. But that's just the beginning. Alright. Oh yeah, I was going the other way like that. Alright. Wait, what? Hey, where does this take me to? Wait, what? I don't know if she's been down here. Or have I? Uh, oh, wait. Wait, no, I don't know. That's right, because you beat that boss that got rid of the plants that were blocking the way normally. Oh, there. yeah, you're right. It did. Yeah, there's actually nothing for you to do over here, though. Huh. I wouldn't even bother if I were you, other than maybe going back to the main deck from the back door route, but it's obviously it's not even worth doing this. Good morning. Hey, yeah. I was wondering when you'll finally show up, Geek. I've been in the call for quite some time, if you're wondering. I've noticed. And I was here for half an hour ago. <laughs> Sounds about right. Also, I forgot this is the uh, save point because this was supposed to be when you're running away. Yeah. Oh, sh. These guys hit for a lot, which is why you didn't want to be over here, too, even with screw attack. 
Yeah, uh, yeah, I think that's all that I need to do here, honestly. There's nothing else. Yeah, the only other thing is there's one more item to get on the way out, but that's back when you were leaving the normal way. Ah. Uh, I think, ooh. Yeah, you may have to... Take the long way around? Yeah, I'm not... I'm not yeah, take this way, yep. not mad at it, because there is a safe point I want to use. Oh, wait, no, I can't use that. Never mind. Whoops. Yeah, that's power bomb blocks there. That's all right. Although I think the... Okay, yeah. yeah, these guys are still jumpable on. Uh, or I could just wall jump myself. Yeah, that too. Yeah, as long as you've got screw attacking when you're going at them, then you'll still can use them as platforms, otherwise you'll go right through them. Pretty <laughs> much. Alright. They say on the way out there's one more item to grab, right? Yep, it's in this room right here. So that second one you can grab up there to your right, go in there and drop a bomb. Oh yeah, this might be the one. Ah, there we go. Of, of course! <laughs> Another retake! <laughs> uh, Geek, for context, this is the first episode I'm recording of this rando, and I already have 11 retakes out of 20. Oh, fun. <laughs> well, you got plenty of health, at least. Uh, yeah. I mean, you think? <laughs> yeah, that was up earlier watching that uh, Elimination Chamber live event. <laughs> I went the wrong way. Wow. 4 a.m. The Central time with the kickoff show at 3 a.m. <laughs> wait, it wasn't. Wait, 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 no, no, no. Wasn't that the screw attack doors? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that just leads to one of the warp pipes that takes you from one sector to another. Yeah, I'll just check something real quick. For Def F7 tonight. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, yes, yep. no, I did this actually because I actually managed to get the item here, which was. Oh, yeah, this item. Our uh, bomb tech that you cannot use yet because not useful yet. And you know no what? Since I'm data. here. Yep. Oh wait, I can't do that. Never mind. Yeah, no. You haven't not unlocked those doors yet. Mm, okay. Well in that case, let's go back. Okay, let me see your map ones here. I just want to see if there's anything you may have missed before you leave. I uh, definitely face true that enemy. Uh, yeah, no, it looks like you got all you can get for now, so yeah. Perfect. Yeah, okay, honestly, I was thinking of the Sector 1, because I know there was a uh, blue door that I couldn't go through last time. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Why is it worth it for could... now, honestly, if I was doing, I guess, a... Uh, yeah, the problem is the blue door I think you're thinking of goes back to that lava room, and right now I don't think you can actually get that item yet, so it's not worth it to go for it at the moment. Speaking of lava rooms, it's not worth to go to Sector 4 right now. Jeez. Well, it's generally not worth to go to Sector 4 early anyways, unless you really need to look for items, because since you normally have to go there later on to begin with, just to... Uh... Get that last security. Oh, I unlocked. did not know that activated. Whoops. Oh, you mean the? Oh, wow. So I can actually ask for a hint. Yeah, I don't know if, how well the hints are in here because these I don't use them. Huh? Mm, that's kind of cool though. That's quite neat that they allow you to do that. Yeah. Hey, 